Her fiancé says Neda Sultan was killed on her way to a music lesson. When she was shot, a doctor, Arash Hajazi, rushed out of the crowd to try to save her. He's the man in the white shirt. Dr. Hajazi is now in Britain, and he's been speaking to the BBC about what happened. Her blood was draining out of her body, and I was just putting pressure on the wounds to try to stop the bleeding, which wasn't successful, unfortunately. And she died in less than one minute. Dr. Hajazi says that some of the crowd caught a man they thought had killed her. They were afraid to expose themselves to the, to themselves to the police. So they just let him go and they took their, his identity cards. I don't know those people who took their identity card, uh, but I'm, I know that there are people there who, ha who know who he is. As he tried to save her, he was scared. She was one meter away from me. That bullet could have hit me. And that guy or that person who had shot her could have been there, still there. So it was the first time in my life that I really felt the fear of death. And I was feeling so bad about myself because I, I felt that I'm having this fear and she's dead. I don't want her blood to be, have been shed in vain. Uh, she died on the street to say something. And the, the fact that the image has traveled so fast around the world, it means something. It means that there is a message there. What happened to Neda and the others who were killed has scared many, though not all, supporters of the opposition off the streets. They've had a message today from Mir Hussein Musavi, the man they think won the election. Now, this is Mr. Musavi's website, and it's got a picture on it of demonstrators being beaten by some kind of plainclothes policeman. On the website, he calls on his supporters to act within the law, but he says the election was a fraud and that the fraudsters are responsible for all of the bloodshed. Now, that's a not so veiled reference to the leadership and to the supreme leader, Ayatollah Khamenei. And for Iran, that is very defiant talk. For many Iranians, Neda Sultan is a martyr, and that makes her a powerful symbol in this country. The question is whether this crisis will take more lives.